Hey everyone, it's Megan and today I am very excited to be sharing with you my Florida slash Walt Disney World haul video for this most recent trip that we just got back from our visit to Walt Disney World 2020. So my family and I, if you follow me on Instagram and have kind of seen some of the, you know, live updates that I've put here on YouTube as well, I did my first couple live streams in the park, then you may know that I recently got back from Walt Disney World and this was so amazing. This trip was so special to me and my family. We went down for, we were gone for about like 10 days. We did a road trip down to Disney, which was very exciting. Definitely made it a more unique vacation and I really enjoy the road trip and you know getting to kind of see the sights along the way we stopped in Savannah the one day which I'll talk a little bit more about that was really special this trip for all of us was just so well needed like we needed just personally you know to get away and to like have a nice relaxing family vacation and that was exactly what this trip was for us and just the fact that we got to you know being able to return to walt disney world to our happy place after you know i won't go into everybody knows the whole saga of 2020 and what this year has consisted of and the parks being closed you know this was the longest that we've not been in the disney parks so it had actually been a full year since we had been back so it for just so many reasons we were so grateful and felt so blessed to have this opportunity to do this trip because you know while we were there you know i we never take disney for granted like you know we always enjoy it but i would say this trip even more so it was just like every single moment we were just you know living in the moment and just feeling so appreciative of like oh my gosh you know we're here even though you know yes it's different yes we now have masks on walking around but the magic is still alive at walt disney world and it was exactly what we all needed. So we had an amazing trip and I'm so excited to get to the point in my uploads where I will be sharing the vlogs from this vacation. But I wanted to go ahead right now and share my haul video because I know I love watching, you know, other haul videos. I'm a big Disney shopper big just you know shopper and bargain hunter in general so i love seeing videos like this so i thought i wanted to go ahead and share a couple of the items that i picked up during my time in walt disney world so as i mentioned this is not just though a walt disney world haul it is also a florida haul because one of the things that was kind of unique about this trip was that we were not just doing disney in, in the parks every single day you know the fact that this trip you know did have to be different in the sense that you know now with the reservation system and ticketing and everything at Disney, um, you know, we kind of couldn't have like a whole trip just devoted to being in the theme parks. And we had always for years talked about every time we went down to Florida, like, oh, we should have a beach day or we should go explore this town or do this. And we would always get so caught up in just like wanting to do Disney the whole time. So this kind of gave us like that unique opportunity that now, you know, we could do those things. So that was exactly what we did this trip. This trip, you know, wasn't just, it was, trust me, it was a lot of Disney. We were still on property most of the time, but definitely with, you know, the different schedule now and sometimes the parks would not open until you know later in the day or they would close earlier at night we kind of had more time to do some other things around the orlando area and places that we had always wanted to explore we went to celebration for the very first time which i am now like in love with the town of celebration it is just so cute over there um if you haven't been i highly highly recommend it our day in celebration florida was incredible we also went to winter garden and walked around their kind of town center like main street area there which was super cute as well we were there on a saturday so they were had their um like weekend farmers market that they do so that was really cool we got to see that and it's just like a very like cool vibe over there in winter garden so got to explore all these different areas you know do a little bit of house hunting and more so you know area hunting for our eventual move to florida so that's always exciting so we were all about that that was the cool thing about getting to do those type of um different activities as well was i felt like we had more of that wow this is what's gonna feel like you know to live here one day kind of vibe you know to it as well so that was exciting so yes yeah, so without further ado like i said yeah we went this trip not only to disney but also to some other places in florida so that's why i also have some kind of florida based items not necessarily disney items as well so it's a little mix of everything here in this haul so 
we'll jump right into it and um, let's start with the Disney stuff. Let's just jump in with that. So let me grab back here this Walt Disney World. This is always a happy sight to see the Walt Disney World bags. So, okay, I'm just gonna reach in and just start grabbing whatever I find first. Oh here, this is fun, because this is actually one of the very first items that we got the first park day, like the first day that we had in the Disney parks. This was something that I picked up from Epcot while we were on this trip. And actually still, I think this is the, if you're watching this video the day it goes up, still this week is like kind of the final couple days of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival for 2020. So we were there over, you know, we always love our Food and Wine Festival. It's for the past couple years, we have never missed a food and wine festival, me and my family. We're big fans of the event. So I had to pick up, me and my mom actually both got this shirt because we saw it, we had seen it before actually online before we ever even went into the park and knew that this was something that we wanted to get. It is the festival sh shirt for this year, the women's shirt. And how cute is that? So it says, taste your way around the world and it has, the wine glass right here, which is actually those um, two-sided reversible sequins. So you see right now, it's a red glass of wine. And then if I, which way is it? Yeah, if I comb it up this way, can you see that on there? It becomes a white glass of wine. So like, how fun is that? <laughs> it's like very addictive to play with. So yes, this is the shirt. And I love the style of this shirt as well. Like you can see it has kind of this keyhole back detail here. It's just like a very nice, light, loose material. I loved the color of it, just the cut. It kind of has like this tie feature down here. I'll insert a picture. We actually then wore this um, when we went back to Epcot at the end of our trip, like towards the end of our days that we had in the park. We had another Epcot day, so then we actually wore this shirt into the festival, and yeah, I love this so much. So I'm really glad that I picked this up. I had previously never bought myself like an actual food and wine like exclusive shirt before, so this is my first like festival top, and so I'm excited to wear this, because if you watch my vlogs, you know I have kind of a thing about dated merchandise that I then always feel like, Am I going to be able to wear it, you know, any other year? Am I going to like feel weird? And so I always, I mention that all the time in the vlogs. And this does, I think it says 2020 on it, but it's like very, very, you know, faint. And I kind of feel like this year is kind of just like one of those years that it's like, it's kind of going to be interesting to be like, to be able to say like, yeah, I was there in 2020. I, I, I did that. <laughs> it's one of those things. So, yeah. So anyway, it's very faint on there 2020 uh, with the year. So mainly you don't. See, it's not like just like the date for the date of merchandise like right in your face. It's more subtle in the design and you mainly see, you know, this wine and cheese element up here. So I was all about that. I was excited to pick this up. All right, so the next thing in keeping with the food and wine festival theme, I got the festival wine glass that they had this year. It is adorable. So story about this actually, they had sold before and I'm pretty sure they still do sell. There's a kind of like classic wine glass design in Epcot that it's the World Showcase skyline. And then it almost looks like World Showcase Lagoon and like etched around the bottom is kind of like the reflections of the World Showcase pavilions, but the reflection is a like wine glass or a wine bottle or a whiskey bottle it's like something different like that like mexico is i'm pretty sure is a margarita so it kind of like goes in the theme and it's a super cute design you probably know what i'm talking about if you've visited the parks in the last couple of years they've had this design there for a while it's a very popular one and i actually do own that wine glass as well it was a gift to me for my 21st birthday and i still have it i love that glass um, so anyway, I saw this is this year's food and wine festival glass and it's similar to that design But it actually has like it's colored in here. You can see It's actual colored food items and beverage items And then the thing that's reflecting it's kind of opposite of that original glass how before it was you know the pavilion and then the reflection was a wine bottle or something now it's the food items up top, the food and beverage items, and then reflecting is the associated pavilion. So I thought that was like brilliant. Like Japan has some sushi here and reflecting the Japan pavilion. 
Um, Morocco is kind of like a kefta bowl there. You have France has the cheese. Very, very cute. So, and I love the fact that it was colored too. So it was, you know, something different. The traditional one also is just like an etching in there. This one actually has like colored pieces to it. So I thought that was really neat. And in the bottom there, it says the 25th, this was the 25th year for the food and wine festival, which, you know, I think if it wasn't the current, you know, conditions of the world, Disney would have like done this event up like huge to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Food and Wine Festival. But they still like, I'm just so fortunate that, you know, Disney pulled it off and still gave us a Food and Wine Festival because that was something not many people knew if it was even gonna happen this year for 2020. So I'm just so happy that yes, it did happen. And they had a lot of really good items there this year as well. So something that is kind of disappointing that I have to point out about this glass as much as I love it. It is a hand wash only. So I actually, when I went to grab these to film this video, we've already been, we've been home now for two weeks. So we've already been enjoying these. Me and my mom both got one of these and we've both been using it already. And I just realized in the very bottom underneath where it says um, the 25th anniversary for food and wine, it says hand wash only. And these went in the dishwasher. Don't do that. That's what I've just learned because I'm looking, this glass is a lot better. Um, this one must have not gone in the dishwasher, whereas this one has, and it is starting to, the design is starting to peel off, which is really, really sad because I love this glass so much. It's like, uh, this is actually kind of comical. The 2020 has already washed off of here. So it's like, we'll just forget the date. But um, yeah, that kind of stinks. So a little note, if you do get this glass, learn from my mistake here do not put it in the dishwasher hand wash only um that will have to be what we do with this from now on so little note there they did have the disclaimer on there i just did not pay attention to it <laughs> but anyway yes yeah, still serves its purpose <laughs> Also on the epcot topic this is a really fun little item that we picked up so uh, we love me and my family we love doing the scavenger hunts that they do in epcot throughout the different times of the year and usually like associated with you know the different festivals during flower and garden they do like a spikes little bee scavenger hunt my favorite is during the um festival of the arts they do a figment painting scavenger hunt that you have to find different paintings throughout each pavilion and figments like the little mascot he's in each one of the paintings that one is super fun i will link a video that i did during the 2019 um, festival of the arts where we went around and did the figment scavenger hunt it was a blast it was just so much fun and we actually were like you know some of them were challenging we were struggling in some of the pavilions we actually had to like circle back to mexico because we could not find it in the Mexico Pavilion. So it is actually a challenge some of the times um, trying to find these. But anyway, they had the event for the Food and Wine Festival. And so we did do it. We purchased the map is $7.99 to purchase. And then you do get a little redemption prize once you have completed your map. So we had to go around and find the Remy's that were hidden in all of the pavilions. And then the prize this year was a little water bottle. And this is really cute. They had like four different styles that you could choose from. I think it was Figment, Remy, Mickey, and Minnie. I think that was what they had. And I, of course, had to go for Figment because I am a huge Figment lover. I love Figment. And it's just really cute that it has like the kind of food and wine elements around it as well. Like the little salt and pepper shakers, different food items. Very, very cute. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you from the Disney portion of the haul, this was the bigger item that I, like my splurge item that I treated myself to this trip. I got a lounge fly. This is my very first ever Disney lounge fly backpack. So there is quite a story behind me deciding to purchase this. So if you've watched my vlogs before, I've actually talked about these lounge fly bags quite a lot in the vlogs because I've always been tempted by them. Like I will see them and Disney has so many of these now too. They are like coming out with new styles and designs for these lounge fly bags. Like all the time they constantly it seems like almost every other week they have like a new lounge fly in stock so 
in videos in the past and different trips to the parks, I've always pointed these bags out and been like, oh look, here's this new design, it's so cute. I've always never been sure if this bag would be functional for me because presently I go through the parks with my Vera Bradley um, Magical Meg <laughs> backpack that's like my signature bag that I take through the parks and I love it because it's big enough to fit all my camera gear and also like has a spot on the side of it to put a water bottle. You really cannot put anything in this side pocket, maybe just like a card or something is what can go in here. Um, this one doesn't have like as much space as like the big Vera Bradley backpack. So that's why I never was like really interested in getting a lounge fly. I was always so tempted by the designs because they are adorable, but I was like, oh, I just don't know if I can justify, like, would it work for me? Well, this trip, like I said, because we were kind of taking this trip at a bit of a different pace and we weren't doing like full on days in the parks and we kind of had a lot of days that we were going and like I said that one day we went and we explored um, Winter Garden, another day we went over to Celebration Florida and did more like you know kind of different things like that and I found myself so many times I'm like I want like a smaller backpack that I you know can just put a couple items in, it still fits my camera, um, you know still could put everything that I need in here so I was like you know what I think I'm gonna treat myself to a lounge fly. So I went through the park on like a mission and was going to pick out the lounge fly that was, you know, calling to me. And the one that I decided on was this one that it's like the, I wanna know what this one's called. It's a Disney Parks one and Disney Parks exclusive that has some of the actual park icons on it. So like you can see it has the Kilimanjaro Safari Jeep. It has the Epcot Spaceship Earth right there. You have, the pirate ships from um, Peter Pan's flight, also all the Disney characters on it. It's a super, super cute bag, I love it. And I also learned when I was picking it out, just like with getting the Dooney and Burks or the Veras, any of the bags, placement is everything. I encourage you, if you're going to buy one of these bags, if you can, buy them in person and really take your time examining every single little thing and pick out the design that you like the most because yes while it's like okay here's this design every single bag is different which is something that i think is really cool about them is that it's like you kind of have like a one-of-a-kind bag because the way that they cut the material and the fabric and put it together every single one is different you will not ever have the same icons in the same place bag for bag so you really have to you know look at the design and know okay this is important to me i really want this thing this thing and this thing on the bag and then you know when you're in a sh in the stores and you see them go through each rack and see what is calling out to you and that is exactly what we did we spent like a good half hour inside a world of disney going back and forth between two different locations where they had these bags and like pulling off the ones that i like the most and finally i decided on this one and the main reason was because right down here i wanted one that had this donald because donald's holding a camera so that's just like really appropriate for you know vlogging in the Disney park. So I wanted that on there and then it also has, you know, Animal Kingdom, my favorite park, Epcot, my other favorite park, you know, represented on there. It has the Mickey and Minnie that's right there. So just like all in all, I was like, this is this is a good bag. I really like this. And then on the back as well, it had a really nice, you know, Donald once again with the camera, um, another nice Mickey and Minnie. So just like everything that, you know, is like quintessential Disney to me. I found on this bag. So yes, I now am a lounge fly owner. I'm in the lounge fly club and I am loving this. And I could see like, if I was gonna have like a full on park day, I might want to, you know, hydration, very important, be able to grab my water bottle more quickly on and off the side. But this would fit like a standard water bottle inside of the bag. If you don't mind just opening the bag up every time you want to get it out. This fits a lot in here, so I'm kind of excited about trying out, you know, a new bag in the park. I'm in the lounge fly club now, and, and now it's dangerous because I've already been seeing other designs out online that Disney's releasing, and I'm like, oh, now that I know it works for me, I think I'm going to be one of those people that has, you know, 10 million of these. <laughs> so I have to watch myself that that doesn't happen. Okay, so the next little thing that I got from um, the parks as well, this came from World of Disney also, but you can find them all over the parks, is this little like 
wallet. It's like this little card holder wallet thing. And I thought this was appropriate because I bought this at the same time I was buying the backpack and I was like, you know, I need to update my little wallet card holder that I have because currently I have recently been getting like away from carrying around like a whole wallet. Even when I'm here at home, I don't like having a whole bulky wallet in my purse or my backpack or anything just because I feel like it takes up a lot of space. I don't usually carry that much cash with me. I more so, you know, have a couple cards with me and I'm good to go. So that's why I really thought this was awesome. Currently, I have a Lily Pulitzer that I got on one of the after party sales a couple years ago, little like ID case. And that's what I use as like my wallet. Like that's where I keep all of my credit cards, my ID, everything. And I love it that it's thin and just little that it can go back and forth between any of the bags that I use. So I wanted something else similar to that. And I had seen this there. How cute is this? So it's a little card holder. It has one, two, three, four, like four slots here that you can put different cards. And I'm sure you could, you know, double them up in there as well. Um, and then on the back, it has the clear plastic part for your like photo ID and this I was like this would be so perfect for in the parks when you know I just need like one you know credit card ID and like a couple Disney gift cards or something and how cute is it too it's the Mickey balloons they have a couple different styles of these there was like a Mickey premium bar um a haunted mansion with Madame Leota in the middle I'm trying to think what else they had they had a couple of these like I think a classic like Mickey ear hat one so i was kind of back and forth between the balloons and the mickey premium bar but ultimately i decided on the balloons just because i liked how colorful it was and it kind of goes with the aesthetic of my new lounge fly backpack so this was something that i treated myself to so yeah i'm excited to try that out okay so that was actually everything i got that was actual like disney disney parks branded things but i did make some Disney purchases inside of Uniqlo, which if you've been to Uniqlo, then you know that this store is amazing. It is a Japanese based um, department store that I believe that the one at Disney Springs is one of the only locations in North America. I'm pretty sure that it's, maybe there's one else somewhere, maybe in California or something. I just know that the one in Disney Springs is like one of the only locations in the US, um, which is very exciting. And they do, in Uniqlo, they have amazing clothes. Like we've found that we just love their clothing. It's all very comfortable. It's all very like affordable, extremely good quality, yet like affordably priced. It's amazing in there. My dad actually just got, they have their own like branded um, masks in there like it's called like the Arizm masks which is kind of one of their brands that they carry and oh my gosh he said they were like so comfortable and breathable me and my mom may have to try to figure out how to order some online because he's been trying them out and absolutely loves them so just really good products that they have in there and they do carry a disney line and all of their disney shirts like the women's shirts are usually like $14.99 or like $14.90. It's like a set price and they are amazing. The fact that you can get, you know, Disney merchandise on Disney property in Disney Springs, but at prices like that, that's amazing. So also whenever you buy anything in Uniqlo, they give you this really cool like drawstring backpack, um, like to take it out in just as like their standard bags, which are also incredible quality. My dad actually uses this as like his gym bag because I mean, it's a really good quality little backpack that they give it to you in. So inside of Uniqlo, I got three Disney shirts. So these were all also on clearance when I got them. That was really exciting because it's like, not only was it, you know, already, you know, very affordably priced, you know, unique low clothing, but they were on Markdown as well. So that's why I kind of went crazy and got three shirts in there. I'm just looking at the receipt right now. All of these came to, it was $9.90 was the price of each one of these t-shirts that I am about to show you, $9.90. Incredible. Here's the first one. This is so cute. It is a tie dye shirt, kind of like a crop top. It has like the purple and yellow in there and right in the middle, if you see, there is just a really subtle Mickey. It's just like this tie dye design and then just right in the middle you have just like that one solid Mickey. I was like, this would be so cute for my favorite Epcot festival, Festival of the Arts. Look at that, Festival of the Arts 2021. Hopefully, you know, it's 
gonna be in full swing and we can get to it because I'm telling you, I love the Festival of the Arts. It has become my favorite Epcot festival. And so I was just like, as soon as I saw this, I instantly was like, Festival of the Arts. I could see myself wearing this, the fact that it's like, you know, a tie-dye artistic thing with Mickey. I'm like, this has to, I have to buy this. So yes, I was very excited about this shirt. And oh my gosh, these are so comfortable as well. The next shirt might be my favorite of the three that I am showing you right now. It is like this Hawaiian print shirt that has Disney details in it. So it's kind of like a female, like Hawaiian shirt. You know how they have like those Hawaiian shirts for men. This is kind of like the girls version of it. And this, you wouldn't like, looking at it right now, you would be like, what's Disney-ish about it? It has such subtle Disney touches. It is adorable. So if you look at the close up, there's like just little things like inside of the flowers, they'll have a Mickey head right there. Or even like the more and more that I look at it, I find different things like inside of this leaf here, there's Mickey's glove off to the side of this flower here. It's Mickey's pants. When we first saw these in the store, we first, um, we just noticed the Mickey's that would like occasionally be inside of the flowers. And we were like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. You know, we need to have it. And then the more and more that we were looking at it, I would notice like, oh my gosh, that's his pants. There's his glove and like all these little details about it. So this is super adorable. And like I said, so comfortable. And also note for this one, if you get to Uniqlo and they still have these there, this, just like the whole thing I told you for the bag, for the lounge fly bag, placement. Once again, all of them are different the way that they are cut. So, you know, I picked this one out because I love the fact that his glove was like right up here in the corner and that this flower was like complete right here with a Mickey. So placement, when you're picking something out like this, go through every one in your size and see, okay, which one looks the best. All right, so now onto my third t-shirt that I got inside of Uniqlo. And this was all kind of like, I think this brand they did, it's the uh, Mickey Aloha collection. So they had released this for the summer. So I think that's why when we were there, you know, we were there like the end of October, that it was on clearance because they were kind of transitioning out their summer line. So that's why we got these on, you know, such a good deal. Look at this, it's a mini, it just is this simple design that says mini aloha on it. And she's in her little Hawaiian hula skirt there. And I was like, the one day that I finally get to go to Alani, I'm going to wear this shirt. And until then, I will always wear it at Disney's Polynesian Resort. But mainly, you know, I bought this and it's my favorite color, yellow. And I was just like, I could see myself one day eventually getting to break this out when I have an Alani trip planned. <laughs> okay, so those are the things from Disney World property. So now, let me get into showing you kind of the more Florida based things that I got. So this trip for us, like I said, we were doing you know a lot of different things. And one of those things was we went our first time as a family going to a Florida beach, which was very exciting. So we went to Clearwater Beach, Clearwater, Florida, and I cannot hype it up enough. We cannot wait to go back. We're actually talking about maybe even doing like a long weekend trip or something where we just fly like into Tampa and just go like to the beach for the weekend because we truly had that good of a time there in Clearwater. It is beautiful. It is such a perfect little beach town. That was our first time ever, like any of us experiencing a Gulf Coast beach as well. And it just like was a whole new level of it. The sand there is like, powder it doesn't feel like regular sand like we're very used to we are from pennsylvania very close to the maryland delaware border so we always are used to beaches in maryland and delaware and the sand there is much more of like a coarse kind of grainier sand that just sticks to everything and here it's like we were coming off the beach and like sand wasn't even sticking to me you can just like swipe it off it's like so it's just like powder it's amazing also the shelling there on the beaches in Clearwater. Oh my gosh, we were getting so many like perfect intact shells. It was just gorgeous, it was amazing. So I fell in love with Clearwater, Florida. So we did buy a couple goodies there at Clearwater. We actually, we found this store too that we loved. If you were at like the Clearwater main beach, go inside of Surf Style. I'm a sucker for like one of those classic little boardwalk kind of 
you know, beach stores, surf shops, and this one was like no exception. There was just like all this fun, beachy, you know, merchandise, very like Floridian style in there. So I did pick up two things in there. And once again, look at this, these stores with giving you these really nice bags. They gave you like this, anything that you bought, they were giving people these huge canvas tote bags for free. I'm like, and this was perfect because then we were using this coming off the beach to put like our towels in and everything. It worked out perfectly. Okay, so the first thing that I got in the surf style shop in Clearwater was this Clearwater it's not spirit jersey branded but it looks just like a spirit jersey because you can see in the front there you have the little clear water emblem and then the back of it is like that spirit jersey style with there it is clear water florida has the little surf style logo right there i loved this and actually like i said i'm a big bargain hunter they had a clearance section inside of the store and this was originally $24.99 and it was marked down to $12.99 i saw this i was like $12.99 for like a spirit jersey you know long sleeve like this and i love the color of it it's more of like a lighter um material too it's not like the disney real thick spirit jerseys so this would be good to wear like in florida on like those evenings when it's just like a little bit cooler um and also i love the color of this it's like a nice kind of seafoam mint green color so very pretty i liked this a lot all right, so the next thing that I also purchased inside of the Surf Style store there in Clearwater was, I saw this, I love the um, brand Simply Southern. I have a couple of their t-shirts, super cute, you know, designs that they do. So I saw this and I was like, okay, I have to, have to have this. Look at this, so this is actually the back of it. It is this Florida Simply Southern. So you see it has Simply Southern collection right there. And it's an actual like map of the state of Florida. It just has all the different icons of like different, you know, points of interest in the state. I love this so much. Right there in the middle, look at that castle representing Disney. Isn't that so cute? I, as soon as that was the main, that was one of the biggest selling points. I was like already in love with this and then I saw that and I'm like, it's perfect, it has everything. <laughs> And you can just see there's just like different things like, you know, look at the little gator right there, Florida Gators. You have the Space Coast over here. You have like, you know, down here, Fort Myers, Naples, Miami area, Fort Lauderdale, all of these different things. It just was the perfect, perfect shirt. It even has a mermaid right there. It was just so amazing. So this shirt, actually, I saw this on, they had like a mannequin display set up of it, like when we had first kind of come into the store. And I saw they had it displayed showing the back like this. And I was like, okay, I need that shirt. So anyway, then we're walking through the store and I see this, which is the front of it. And I'm like, now I have two shirts that I need to buy. And happily I found out, oh wait, it's the same shirt. It's just, there's the back and here's the front because I thought the design of the front of it was like equally just as amazing. So yeah, you can see we just have Florida right across the front. You got Florida in the middle there and it says Simply Southern Collection. Like how cute is this? I instantly had to pick this up. So those are my two little purchases that I made inside of the surf style store. Okay, so the next thing that I have here, I'm kind of dwindling down to the end of my haul here, but the next kind of couple things came from Bargain World, which is one of those really just like cheesy roadside gift shops that you see like all, pretty much like along that whole I-4 area, like right before you get onto I-4. Um, they're like all throughout Florida. You can find like all those different little roadside stops. And we actually, we went in there because we wanted to get um, a couple like little items for some people back home. And anytime that you need to buy in bulk like that, they really don't have anything like that at Walt Disney World itself. Well, they have things, but you're going to pay like an arm and a leg for it. Like I was mainly looking for like some pen sets or something to bring to, you know, some people. And they were like $20 at Walt Disney World. Whereas in Bargain World, you can get Mickey and Minnie pens that were $3 for a pack, you know. So that was the main reason that we stopped inside of Bargain World. But they have... I actually, I'm going to have a whole video on this once I get into this vlog series from Bargain World. They have so many good items in there. I would say if you are like a shopper and you love like different souvenir things like this, go inside of one of those roadside stores along, you know, I-4 there. You will be surprised. Some of the stuff that you can walk out of there with. So 
Without further ado, let me show you those items. The first thing is actually the thing that I am wearing right now. It is this Orlando, Florida um, sweatshirt. And you know, we went in there and like I said, we were kind of on a mission. It was actually the day we were leaving and we were getting ready to hit the road again. So we were in there, we we're like, we're looking for pins for people. And of course, you know, we got that and then I was like, gonna continue to look around. And I spotted this, that like it's this Orlando, Florida, sweatshirt and I actually you know living in Pennsylvania living up north where it is cold this time of year especially <laughs> um I had been saying I was like I need to get sweatshirts like I was planning once we got back from this trip to actually like go to Walmart and have to buy just Hanes traditional sweatshirts just to restock for this time of year and I spotted this there and I was like it and this was let me see how much I paid for this this was it was $14.99. So I was like, that's, you know, just a few bucks more than what I would be paying for like a nice, you know, Hanes sweatshirt that wouldn't have anything written on it. And I was like, for $14.99, I could have it say Orlando on it. I would much rather have this one, you know, say Orlando on it. So that was the reason I justified getting this and getting a second one too, because I was debating between two colors, debating between like this kind of burgundy, um, reddish color and then this like blue kind of nautical looking color and then when I said to myself I'm like I literally need these though like I was planning to go and buy sweatshirts once I got back home so I'm like might as well you know treat myself to these so I got this one and then I got it in the same thing in blue as well they are so soft these are like I'm saying very very good quality it's if you see inside there it is like such a nice like fleecy material like so ultra soft so this is amazing i've already been wearing as you can see this red one and i'm excited to break into this as well and every time i put this on um you know in recently since we've been back and i've been wearing this it just makes me happy because it reminds me while i'm cold and having to bundle up it reminds me of a much sunnier place my happy place so i'm all about that okay so the last thing that we picked up inside of bargain world was this tie-dye like long sleeve shirt which is adorable there's kind of like a tie-dye theme happening here because i had the thing in uniqlo that was the mickey tie-dye so i love it it's just like and it's that lighter kind of more pastel muted tie-dye look to it also so i thought that was really cool and just right there in the front you'll see the emblem orlando florida with the palm trees and then it's the same design blown up on the back like a bigger Orlando Florida emblem right there with the palm trees so this was super cute I'm excited to start wearing this one as well also I just remembered the other item that I picked up inside of bargain world was for my travel tree so as you can see I'm sitting we've already decorated for Christmas I'm sitting behind this is my Disney tree we have a couple different theme trees that we put up here in our house and I have one that is a travel tree so I picked up an ornament inside of Bargain World that it was only, let me see, it says it on here. I think it was $3.99. Yes, $3.99 for this ornament that it just says Florida and has an alligator on it. And it was one of those like impulse buys. Like I was standing there in line buying the rest of this stuff and I was sad to be leaving Florida, leaving my happy place. And I just looked down and I was like, I need to have this to put on my tree once we got home. And I'm very glad that I got that because I like more things, you know, that represent Florida on there as well. Eventually I want to be able to have like a another tree that is like all Florida things and then have the travel tree be like the other places that I go. <laughs> so that's something for one day. See I was happy with that. I don't have that here with me because it's currently on the tree. I remembered to grab the next thing that I'm going to show you but I forgot to grab off of the tree the florida ornament so i will just insert a clip of that here so that you can see it okay so that gives me the perfect segue now to talk about the next little item that i picked up here we go because it is another ornament so like i said this was a road trip that we did down to orlando and along the way we stopped at the very first day into the road trip we made it to savannah georgia and that next day we only then had from savannah it was like a five hour drive I want to say to get into Orlando so that whole day we kind of took our time more so because you know it wasn't like 
we had you know park tickets for that day or anything park passes that we could get into disney so we were like you know we're gonna just take our time getting into florida that day and so we spent the day in savannah which was very special um, my mom was with us on this trip and savannah was a place that she had wanted to see for years so it meant a lot to her she loved getting to see savannah and you know we had been there before me and my parents we had stopped there also on a road trip but we didn't stay for nearly as long as we did this time like we pretty much crammed like a whole day into basically a morning and afternoon we saw so much we did the old town trolley tour which if you're in savannah I highly, highly recommend because you know it takes you around, you can hit all of the highlights, you get to hear the history too from the tour guides of what you're seeing so you get more of an appreciation for it and Savannah is a place that I love. Like you know I had fallen in love with it back when we just had stopped through and had breakfast on you know our road trip the one other time but like now getting to actually tour around it. I want to go back there again we're talking about doing like a girls trip down there maybe at some point because there's just so much to see you really could make like a whole week out of being in savannah so that being said in the gift shop there i got myself a savannah ornament for my travel tree they had a couple different designs there in the gift shop that i was in and this one was only 5.99 and how cute is it it looks like it's hand painted too and it just has i love that it was like the street scene that has some of the beautiful mansions that they have there a little horse-drawn carriage and the palm trees up there just like very very savannah it was like all kind of the you know highlights of the things that we love to go around touring there so i was very excited about this so yes it was only 5.99 and it now sits on my travel tree that i have so yes that is everything i also want to mention while we were there this trip we did also go to the disney character warehouse outlet the one at the vineland location for the orlando premium outlets which if you're not familiar with that um, it's basically like where Disney sends a lot of their clearance merchandise because they never have like clearance in the parks typically. So they send it to mainly to there's a lot goes to cast connection. Um, then there's, you know, the Disney outlets throughout the country, but the bulk of it usually ends up in the character warehouse outlets. That is a place I highly recommend you going when you are ever in the Orlando area if you're on a Disney vacation. Take some time to go over to the premium outlets and check that out. So I did pick up some cool things from the premium outlets, but I'm actually, I'm not going to show that here in this video because I'm sure I've already talked a really long time about all these things. Plus I've also already done a haul of that in another video that I posted like live time while we were down in Florida. I kind of, it's kind of like a vlog too of like me showing us in the character outlet and then I show you the haul of what I got there. So if you're interested in seeing those items, I will go ahead and link that video up here as well as I'll have it in the description so that you can go ahead and check that out if you want to see the rest of the items that I got that came from the character warehouse. So that is it. That is my haul from this Walt Disney World 2020 vacation and my Florida and Savannah, Georgia items. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this and enjoyed a little preview of my Disney Christmas tree back here. That is another thing that I want to do is film videos of, I've had some people ask me about the trees that we put up and kind of doing like an in-depth walkthrough tour of all of the Christmas trees. So that is something I would really love to do. And I've also been playing around with the idea of last year for Christmas, I did like a modified version of Vlogmas. I didn't post a video, like traditional Vlogmas is supposed to be that you do a vlog for like December 1st to December 24th, like Advent. But I did last year like a modified version of just, you know, kind of sporadically like a Christmassy, you know, video in December and it would be Vlogmas. But I kind of am playing around with the idea of doing like a traditional Vlogmas this year and doing just a full out, you know, commit to it December 1st to, you know, the end of, advent you know up until christmas and do a video every day it would definitely be a unique challenge for me you know i do work so i'm not sure if i'd be able to like have videos from the same day but i might be able to like pre-record like if it's something like tree tours like you know i could pre-record those and then have them scheduled to go up on certain days so let me know your thoughts on that if that's something that you would be interested in seeing from me to see like a vlogmas series i definitely want to do something i don't know even if it wouldn't be like full vlogmas i'm still going to be posting 
tons of kind of Christmas content because as a family we are talking about a lot of different things that we want to do this Christmas season. We want to do gingerbread house making uh, with my family, my aunt and my cousin and you know just all of us together doing gingerbread houses and we also bought like these little ceramic um, like village houses that you can like paint and so we were like that could be a whole day a day of watching Hallmark Christmas movies you know just different things like that that I thought would be fun to document like what we get up to um this time of year this is our favorite time of year so yeah there's a lot of different things that I want to document and share with you guys so with all that being said thank you so much for watching this video thank you as always for your continued support of my channel I truly, truly appreciate it. This is something that I love to do. I love making these connections with other people who love all the same things I do, love Disney and travel and Florida. So thank you so much for being here. So with that, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. All of those things, the thumbs up, the comments, the subscriptions, it all truly does help out the channel and help to support me. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. So with that, thank you again. And I hope that you have a magical day. Have a magical Christmas season. Make today magical. God bless. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. I also just realized that this little one didn't make an appearance yet. So, you know you have to make an appearance in all the vlogs that are at home. All the at-home vlogs. Can you say hi to everyone? Everyone wants to see this kitty. Yeah, you were asleep on the chair. Usually when you hear me filming, you're like, what's going on? And you like come in and like jump up into the video, but you didn't do that today. No? What do you think? What do you think of I have all this stuff now thrown on the floor that we have to clean up? What do you think? <laughs> all right.